are at the Denison Museum. We are a teaching museum on the heart of Denison University here in Granville, Ohio. Uh, this exhibition is entitled Say It Loud. Um, it comes from the James Brown and Pee Wee Ellis song, uh, Say It Loud, I'm Black and I'm Proud. So on exhibit here are these wonderful artists who were able to capture and tell the story of uh, what it means to proclaim blackness, to own blackness, to celebrate blackness. How do we hold on to that in this time in a new century of 2020, looking at what has happened, the progression of blackness during this time? The artists in here illustrate a lot of complex social and cultural issues. They're also challenging dominant historical perspectives. All through contemporary art, we have narratives of ethnic identity, um, race, gender, as well as beauty. Behind us, we have the work of Trenton Doyle Hancock. So over the past three decades, he has been building this alternate universe and this epic story of good and evil. So you will see in his layerings themes of comic books and action figures. You'll see things reminiscent of childhood, but also larger things like history paintings or the Bible also come into play. You will also see Torpedo Boy, which is a reoccurring character that is also the artist doppelganger. So this heavily flawed uh, comic book-like character who's trying always to save everybody, but due to his flaws is always having a bit of a problem doing so. The BAM series is specifically talking about police brutality against unarmed black Americans. What happens is the artist has a collection of African relics. These relics are then dipped in wax until they are unrecognizable. He then goes to a shooting range where the works are shot and also documented to be further sculpted, so to speak. Um, and then after this, they are cast into bronze. So you can see the bronze casting, but since they are documented with a high-speed camera at the shooting range, you also are kind of witness again to this history. He really wants to play and talk about what is it like to be black in America, both historically, but also today. We are very pleased to have uh, is a Kahindi Wiley from his uh, Jamaican series. The one we have is actually a gentleman uh, who assumed the pose of Prince Albert. Most, especially fine art, comes from a very westernized tradition, and it was all about royalty and, and, and white people. Um, yet many <laughs> people around the world are also part of history and they're kind of laying, they are in the background or they're not documented. So if you're not being documented, then how is your history being recognized? So this is the 50th anniversary of Black Studies at Denison University. So this exhibit, how I incorporated in my class, we're actually looking at racial justice, social activism, and Black love and looking at the art and talking with it with to say it loud. How do we say those things out loud and own those elements of racial justice, social activism, and black love? With this specific exhibition, it's really important that people understand, and in the words of um, Titus Kafar, that we have this opportunity to start to reframe history and maybe take a second look about maybe what we, are, what we think we're familiar with and also what is available to us if we dig a little deeper. Everyone is so excited about the exhibit. The fact that, again, it culminates with the 50th anniversary of Black Studies. Um, so it, it, it's like a perfect pairing of two wonderful exhibits of what it means to be Black in America.